Hey everybody, you're watching Whitetail Tips and Tactics, brought to you by Sportsman's Warehouse. This first episode, I'm sure you're gonna see a familiar face here, one of my good buddies, Mr. Phil Vanderpool. Right in the board, Maker. Look at that. Son of a buck, is he pretty or what? A whitetail legend, if you've whitetail hunted for very long, if you're new to whitetail hunting, look up the Virtue TV. I'm sure you're gonna see a lot of whitetails hit the dirt. But we're gonna go over today early season tactics. We're here in Nebraska now, some of the seasons are open. Uh, the velvet season in Nebraska is one of the seasons that, that open early, but other seasons, they're gonna be opening up soon. So. That's right, Larry, that's, that's right. And anytime you're going in early season, I mean, the preparation is where it starts, right? I mean, come Absolutely. on. Absolutely, whether it's hanging trail cameras, uh, making sure your stands are hung, your lanes are cut, all that, but more importantly, Preparation includes a lot of things. And, and what, they, what I mean by that is, what's the food sources around? Yeah. What food sources are around? Well, and that's what you gotta look at. It, when I go out there and I'm going in a new place, you gotta look for food, cover, and water. Pretty much in that order. And uh, that's what we've done here, and that's why we've been successful here in Nebraska already, because we've done our homework. like. I live in the Ozarks down there in Arkansas. So I'd be out here looking to see what, you know, the persimmons and acorns mm -hmm. that we have down home. We're up here, we're looking at corns, beans, alfalfa, yep. the greenery, and things like that. Yeah. And that's what you've got to get yourself educated in knowing what you've got out there for this time of year. Because all the acorn trees might not be producing. So you go out there and find what is. And if you've got a dry year, you're going to be looking at those water sources early season. Where do you set up your trail cameras? Well, there's so many different places to set up trail cameras, folks. Um, first and foremost, look for trails. Mm -hmm. And it can be an old cow trail, especially if they move the cows off yep. the property there. You can set up your cameras there. And when I try to set up a camera, for the most part, I try to set it up as much north as I yep. can to keep that sun out of the picture. Yep. That way you'll get good pictures. Don't have too Absolutely. much daylight in it, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. And then another thing is look at the head of the draws up there where the ditches run down. That's a good funnel place to catch the, mm -hmm. the deer to come through and you can set them up on that. Set them up on corn corners, food sources, gate gaps where the, maybe the gate's down where they're going through. Yep. Or gate holes. Yep. Mm -hmm. Gate holes we call them, gaps. Yep. Um, you can, there's so many places to set them up and you can utilize the fence post sometimes as well. A absolutely, and they make other products such as you know mounts that you can stick in the ground to mount your trail camera on you've got uh there's a lot of ways that you can mount your trail camera but like you said the pinch points the gaps but always look at an aerial view if you have the capability to do so as well there's several apps out there you've got onyx hunt stand hunt wise a lot of different uh or you can just use your maps on your iphone but look and look where those pinch where those areas pinch down the stuff we talked about earlier the food sources uh yeah, one thing I wanted to bring up on food sources, where it's legal and you can put feed or mineral out is a good way to find out what your inventory is. Uh, mm -hmm. Just check your regulations and make sure that you're being 100% legal on it. Larry, one of the things I'd like to talk about, and I know a lot of these folks out here that's watching this have the same thing happen to them. They don't have big pieces of ground to hunt. Mm -hmm. So we have to utilize what we got, whether it be two, three, five acre pieces of ground and maybe establish our own little hunt plot, I call it. When you have a small piece of property, yep. sometimes you have a, a, a roadbed or it could be a four-wheeler trail that you use through the summertime. It could be the edge of a field, a crop field, a small crop field that another farmer farms, or if you got permission to hunt a property, exactly. just a, a bare area. If you've got a riding lawnmower or a push mower, it may take some sweat. No-till well, design. Exactly, I was See, gonna say that, yep. same You thing. get it down bare to the dirt, and there's plenty of seeds out there on the market today that will grow as long as you get seed to soil contact. The one thing you have to look for when you're planting those little plots is make sure you get enough sunlight in there on them. That's probably the only thing I'd suggest is some type of little open area. It can be around even a pond bank or something mm -hmm. down below it or something like that, but it can make the difference in your hunt like that. And another thing you can do, uh, like after the first of the year and things, uh, the sap, we call it sap starting up, mm -hmm. you can fertilize a little bit, just don't overdo it, 
fertilize some of those oak trees and things like that, especially around your little field edges and things where they don't have the competition out there. Buddy, I tell you what, you can do that in those white oaks and red oak acorns coming on. It's a great little place to hunt. Sportsman's Warehouse in store. You can go, they sell, they sell all kinds of food pot seed, the no-till designs, which is pretty much, hey, let's seed the soil contact and the stuff's gonna grow. Well, and the whole key is something that you can afford and have fun with it. Right, so drop a comment below if you've got any questions about anything we talked about or anything you'd like to see in the future. But thanks for watching this first episode of Whitetail Tips and Tactics brought to you by Sportsman's Warehouse.